because it seems like a lot of things aren't disqualifiers for you. Being convicted of 34 felonies is not a disqualifier for you. Being indicted four times, not a disqualifier for you. Found liable for sexual abuse, not a disqualifier for you. Republican Governor Chris Sununu from New Hampshire goes on to The View and shuts down their Trump derangement syndrome. In this video, we're gonna break it all down. Welcome back to the Devore Darkens show. I am Devore Darkens. You guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can get this out to more people just like you and me. Governor Chris Sununu from New Hampshire. Yes, the 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 balls on this guy, right? To go on to The View and, and support President Trump and his policies, really. And they have a meltdown. They can't believe that this governor is still going to vote for President Trump. Uh, we already know what The View is all about. They are evil. They are sick. Uh, they support policies that are eroding everything that makes this country great. And so I want to react to it and talk about it. So without further ado, let me play the first part of the clip. So um, you say that you're a Republican and you'll vote for whoever the Republican candidate is, even though we've... Yeah. I, I glean from what you've been saying that you, you don't respect him and you think he's stupid, but you're going to vote for him anyway. But Chris, right. so, but that's okay because you're into policy and the party. I get no, it. I, All I right. want a fundamental change. Yeah. Okay, but Chris Christie is a Republican who has came on this show and said he will not vote for Trump again. The Republican mayor of Mesa, Arizona, came out this week Mesa. To, Mesa. Mesa, to endorse Kamala Harris and urged other Republicans to choose country over party and vote against Donald Trump, even if it's just this one time to get rid of him. And Mike Pence, his own vice president yeah. a friend of said you and a friend of yours and, and a her, nice yeah. guy and, and in a certain Mike's way great. a hero because of what he did Absolutely. or what daddy didn't do um are they just less dedicated republicans no than you? no look they you know every american everyone whether you're in politics or sitting in the audience here everyone has a different life experience a different set of priorities some people think january 6 is an absolute disqualifier I'm not going to judge you for that. I, I, it was horrible, right? It was terrible, yeah. right? Or the election denial is a disqualifier. I might disagree. My priorities are inflation, cost of living, the homelessness crisis, the border. Other people have your audience. You know, a lot of people are worrying how they're going to pay the bills. They want something to change. So my message is this. Let's stop judging. Well, he's doing this and she's doing that. Why don't you do this? Let's ex respect. Everyone but has a different experience. I, I and, get that. And don't judge what, people. What about, voting Governor, for. what about part where... We know that he wants to take certain rights away from people, from women, from, from black people, from people. What, what about that? Right. And that is, that is, to me, that is more un-American than worrying about inflation. So I'm pro-choice. So, you know, on the, on, on the, the women's right to choose yes. and everything, you know, completely yes. understand Good. that. It's back in the states. Some states get it right. Some states okay. have to make corrections, and, and to be sure. You know, the, I think a lot of people out there going, well, look, I, we had them for four years. Some of the scary stuff we didn't appreciate and, and happened. Some of the scary stuff didn't come to fruition, but they, they just want a fundamental change. Okay, so I just want to make a couple points. Number one, uh, obviously, this governor um, is in line with the overall Republican message, which is we are focused on policies, not personalities, not on race and not on gender. Now, he did say, which I didn't play, but he did say that he thought President Trump's performance at the National Association of Black Journalists, the Q&A that he did in Chicago, was awful. Cool. Whatever. That's your opinion. But he's still standing by the most important issue, which is the border, which is the cost of living, the cost of groceries, the, the cost of gas. These are things that should be taking priority in the conversation of politics. One side does not want to do that because it does not favor them. That is the Democratic Party, uh, Vice President Harris. They are not going to talk about those things and they're not going to lead with those things because they have no record to run on. They cannot. The American people will see right through that. So, of course, they're going to keep trying to agitate the whole race conversation, the sexist conversation, you know, what he said, what he did and, and January 6th and he's a dictator and all this other stuff. That's what they want to keep going. They want to keep feeding that because it distracts us from what the real issue is, which is the 20 million people that have come across the border, right? That home prices and us being able to afford that has dwindled, right? The inflation has outpaced wages, right? The cost of something as simple as milk or eggs or bacon, whatever you like to eat is outrageous. So anyways, um, the, that's what he's leading with and they don't like it because it makes sense, right? And here's how I want to wrap up this first point. Policy over personality. Policy over personality. I don't care if you like President Trump or not. 
I, I don't care. We do not need to like people to get shit done. That's the bottom line to it. Let's continue. I guess my, my answer to your question but is... Wouldn't he not be a fundamental change? Wouldn't he be just going back to what worse, we had worse. before? And, and a lot of bad? people would tell you that they could pay their bills then, and they would tell you that they didn't have the homelessness crisis then, and that we weren't talking about defunding the police then. Whoa! Like, we, had a, we had a crisis, Jeez. but not to the level we have. So I'm just saying other people might put those as priorities. So okay. just respect that. Well, well let me ask and, you... And we can have a dis uh, disagreement. Let me ask you about disqualifiers, it. right? Because it seems like yeah. a lot of things aren't disqualifiers for you. Um, 34, being convicted of 34 felonies is not a disqualifier for you. Uh, being indicted four times, not a disqualifier for you. Um, found liable for sexual abuse, not a disqualifier for you. Um, but you say that your justification for supporting Trump is that, is the polls, right? You're a state governor. You're in a, an extremely important leadership position in your party. You're not even running for re-election. No. Why? are the poll numbers dictating your position rather than your principles well, and your character and your morality. No, no. Well, no one's ever so understand right now about half of America is going to vote for Trump. You want to judge me for ignoring that. You're now judging half of America. I don't think half, Amer well, half of America, America aren't, aren't Rachel Republicans. Rachel Maddow said that on no, our but show. Half, nearly but half right now, it would essentially be almost a, a, a tied race, right? Yeah, we got so half go. of the votes would go to Trump. So you're now judging all those people that would vote for Trump because they have a different but set I'm of priorities. But I'm just questioning you. Yeah, well, I, the, but again, you can question and judge me. I can take it. Yeah. But I would warn you, there's so a I'd lot like of your vote viewers. I'd like you to answer for yourself because, as a leader. Because why aren't those things? Because I believe in, in free markets. I believe yeah. the border crisis is very real and affecting our communities. I, I believe that inflation, the <laughs> fact that a family of four can't go to McDonald's for less than 50 bucks, mm -hmm. they can barely pay their rent in their but that's fear McDonald's of losing their home. Fault. That's McDonald's no. fault. It's not. It's inflation. Yes, it is. Listen, it's inflation. It's, the, it's, it's no, corporate it's gouging. It's McDonald's fault. No, it's when it's groceries, when you can't pay for groceries, the government doesn't control what your grocery it's prices. It's corporate they, gouging. Yes, this is inflation is caused is, by one thing. What? Inflation is caused by one thing. The government prints and spends too much money. It's economics 101. It's the only reason. So that policy has driven inflation, not just 4%, 25% in three where years. Were we People can't afford to live. Was, corporate oh, gouging. Where were we when you're, yeah. when you, oh, I can't, I can't. Yeah, you can when no, I got, we got it. Is it true, standing? by the way, that I'm the first person to come on the show all year that actually admitted to voting for Trump? No. Like, what, yeah, I think who else? So. Mostly they're, they're embarrassed. Oh, we had really yeah. We've had because I so what, the, what yeah. the hell was I thinking? <laughs> what the hell was I thinking, Joe? Okay, so you guys seen that. Let's talk about the first thing, disqualifiers, right? So Sonny Holston is having a meltdown. We already know she's sick, uh, deranged about Trump. Um, she's probably one of those people that would love if Trump was assassinated. She'd probably be, you know, dropping down on her knees and thanking God because she's really that crazy. Um, now, the whole disqualifier situation. OK, so let, let, let's let's go back to it then. So if you're trying to disqualify Trump for something he wasn't even convicted on, you can get out of here with all that. That That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, the convictions that he has currently right now are a civil matter, not a criminal matter. So that that would be number two. And then the whole conversation about attacking the governor and saying, well, well, wh why don't you not vote for him because of these things? Because the governor is not going based off emotion. That's the problem with these women. They want to they vote and they want to enact policies based on how they feel, not what actually will get results for the American people. That's why they're sick. The second issue is this, morality and people's character. Listen, it's not possible to be in Congress and be someone who's clean and innocent. It just isn't the way that our government is operating. Our government is funded by donors and special interests and corporate elite. That's just what it is. That's why they hate President Trump so much, because he doesn't need their money. That's why there's such a huge resistance against him, because he does not need their money. They cannot control him, but they can control all the other congressmen. They can control all the other senators, and they definitely can control Vice President Harris and President Biden because they are career politicians. President Trump does not need this. He does not need this, but they do. And so they're always going to take their money. So if you want to talk about character and morality, then let's get rid of everybody in the government because they've all had broken laws. Like when you go into to Congress and you have zero money and then within eight years, you're worth a hundred million dollars. Stop it. OK, now here's the third thing. Inflation. Right. You heard him say that a family of four can't even go to McDonald's without without spending more than 50 dollars right on 
their meals. And he's saying he's saying it's because of inflation. And Whoopi, who's never really educated on these things, she just goes based off how she feel. She doesn't even have the decency to do the actual research. And what I'm going to do right now is show it on the screen uh, while I'm talking here is that uh, inflation has outpaced wages over the last few years. There's no disputing that. Now, inflation has come down in 2024. That is true, but the damage has been done over the past three years. So this is another talking point that the Democrats like to use to shut down what the facts really are, which is inflation has damaged households all around America. They have not been able to recover from this. Stop saying the economy is good. Stop saying inflation is not a problem. That's bullshit. You're gaslighting the American people. And that's what's wrong with this show. And that's what's wrong with all the other propaganda puppets around the entire fake news media. So, hey, that's that's what I want to say about that. So as I wrap up this video, let me say this. It's what Nikki Haley said, which was probably the only thing that made sense in her uh, speech at the RNC, which is you do not have to agree with President Trump to vote for him. You do not have to like President Trump to vote for him, right? You don't even have to actually like anybody who supports him to vote for him. What you should be doing is voting for someone who's going to get results. And if you do a comparison with the Trump administration and the Biden administration, the Trump administration actually got results for the American people and the Biden administration has not gotten results for the American people. And we know that because we have 20 million illegal immigrants in our country. It is hurting our cities. They are running out of money. They're diverting resources to these migrants and skipping over citizens that actually need that help. That's number one. Number two, gas has not actually improved. Number three, inflation is still killing home prices. People cannot afford to purchase a home. And we can go on and on and on. They're, that's why they're not going to run on any policies. They're just going to keep trying to use race, gender, fear tactics. Let's use some critical thinking skills. Let's think for ourselves. Let's prioritize policy over personality. That's my mindset. What is yours? What do you think about the governor, Chris Sununu from New Hampshire, going on to The View? Just the balls to even go on there and actually stick up for Trump on the policy issue. But I want to hear from you guys and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.